Hello, how you doing today again? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. So this is my review of Elementary OS 5 Juno. I finally found a desktop I like to install it on and keep it. So the PC that I'm running my... I just had it. Running my elementary OS in. Is a Optiplex. A Dell Optiplex 9010 all in one. And in my research. The quad core Intel. I7. 3770S. It's a top of the line of CPU. You can put in here. So some of them can come with a Pentium, i3, i5. i7 was the top. Now this here graphics controller basically, in my research, equates to the integrated Intel HD Graphics 4000. Maybe a little bit of light gaming can go on in here. Light, light to me medium maybe, but I wouldn't expect it to be the top of the line. Um, when I received this desktop, all in one, it came with four gigs of RAM. As you can see, I put in 16 gigabytes of DDR3, which is, you can max it out at. It came with a HDD. I had to install a SSD. There's no way. I, I don't like HDDs. I prefer the SSD hard drive. So that's a bit of the hardware specs there. And so this is the elementary OS desktop. You have your applications here on the top, top of the panel your menu choices and how to view the menu, the date and the time, the notifications over here along with the power button to log out, uh, your wallpaper, and as elementary OS is, you can't right click and get anything off of the desktop, which is fine with me. Then we have the dock down here at the bottom. And that's pretty much the Pantheon desktop environment. Um, so some of the things that I do like about elementary OS is one that is based on Ubuntu. Elementary OS 5 Juno is based on a LTS, the 1804 LTS. Some of the things that I, uh, something else that I really like is the file browser. They call it file. But I like you can click the different options here in browsing icon, the list view, but this one right here is like finder when browsing with columns and it just keeps on going and adding to it just as if it was finder. I kind of miss my G4. This is one of the things I really like about elementary OS. I made a bookmark for app Im images. I found I needed a uh, shortcut in here, but shortcut wouldn't install natively, you know, for a Linux desktop. Why, I don't know, but I found an alternative way to get it, and that's an, as an app image. I Desktop editor, I just put it in there just because, just wanted to check check out another app image, that's all. And as you can see, I kind of themed it out pretty neat for my liking. I 
I prefer if I'm going to, and that's this way, because then you have the traditional like Linux categories of applications. And so one of the applications I like is Eddie. That's the, their GUI of installing uh, dev packages, dot dev packages. As I mentioned, there's a couple of ways to browse for applications. But one of the neat things when you do browse, if it's not in there, because I do not have Firefox installed, I prefer Google Chrome, it will bring it up in the um, software manager, the App Center, they call it. App Center, there it is. They call it the App Center. And it will give you the option to install it. All you have to do is click, which I found pretty neat. And that's one of the things I like about the Pantheon desktop environment from Elementary OS is its integration with the operating system and some of its software packages. And to me, that's what I feel that makes it, gives me that personal experience of making it feel more stable than Ubuntu itself. Plank, I like Plank too because hit control, right click, preferences, and now you have some options for the dock. Appearances. I can make it transparent if I want to or stick to the GTK theme that I have installed. I can position it to the top, to the right, left, or back to the bottom. behavior I can actually have it do some auto hide dodge for when there's windows when they're maximized dodge windows as they move around and tele hide I prefer to keep it just docked as a dock show unpinned Docklets. There's two that I really just keep, and that's the trash can, as you can see here, and the applications menu. So if you want a, like a classic menu, you don't, you can't left click. You have to right click. Then you sort of get it kind of a classic menu here. With all that being said, I pretty much like Elementary OS as is. But there's a few things that I dislike. Um, one of them is you have to run terminal. Let me get it up here. To install PPA packages. It won't install PPA packages right out of the box. There we go. So to get elementary tweaks installed, you got to run a command.
Let me find it. Um, here it is. Why it's not showing up in my terminal? I don't know. I had to run this command in terminal to get PPAs to install. And that's uh, sudo app install software properties common. Or s you, you won't be able to run any... Uh, install any software and terminal through PPAs. Another thing that I dislike is the customizable themes are limited as compared to something like XFCE. Let's take a top panel for example. I can't right click on it anywhere to make any kind of changes. It's kind of there permanently. Unlike you saw me with plank, I can move plank to the right, to top, to the bottom, to the left side of the screen. In Pantheon, the top panel up here, it's just there. There's nothing else you can do with it. You don't have any other options, not even for a... Uh, another menu, an applications menu. You're kind of locked and stuck with that. And you're kind of locked and stuck with everything over here. Um, with the power settings and everything being here, the notifications and the buttons. You can't add any buttons. Um, so you won't even be able to get a global menu in a tweak for Pantheon. But that's Pantheon. That's sort of kind of its niche as a desktop environment. For the most part, I do like it. Developer applications. One of the developer applications, as I mentioned, is Eddie from the Pantheon, the elementary OS team. Another one is Planner. So that's a developer application. So, Elementary OS. Good job. Thank you.